the rest of the story. What comes first to your mind when I mention the name Y.A. Tittle? Well, you remember two things. You remember one of the greatest quarterbacks who ever lived. Texas-born Y.A. Tittle. He did things as a quarterback in the National Football League which had never been equaled. Nobody had ever passed for more yards. 17 seasons, six times in the All-Star game, and yet... There is one other picture of Y.A. Tittle, which may be burned indelibly into your recollection. It's a haunting picture of the great quarterback on his knees, with blood seeping down across his forehead. He had been hit. He had been grievously hurt. He would never play football again. But this is the rest of the story. Today, Y.A. Tittle is 63, an insurance executive in Palo Alto, California. This autumn, he accompanied his granddaughter on a visit back east to Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. And while Tittle was there in Sheriff Andy Taylor country, he learned that there was a real-life Wake County sheriff living in nearby Raleigh who was running for a fourth term. A good man, Tittle had heard, entirely deserving of more years in office. The community needs him, folks had said. So, the former quarterback asked around, and the more answers he got, the more convinced he became. 54-year-old John Baker, first elected sheriff of Wake County in 1978, was doing a job that ought to be extended. So, Tittle visited Baker at his Raleigh home, and he said, let me help your campaign if I can. Tittle said, you know, I am a Republican. But Democrat Baker said that was all right with him. So why a Tittle? This, this living legend of the professional football gridiron hit the campaign trail with Sheriff John Baker. And even as you and I visit at this moment, those two are stumping Wake County for votes. Whenever he gets a chance during one of his campaign speeches, Tittle retells a tale from the sundown of his own NFL career about that day 25 seasons ago that put a great quarterback in the insurance business. And what happened to Tittle that September day that tore up the cartilage in his rib cage and retired him from football forever was no slip. It was no trip. It was no accident. It was a head-on collision with a human freight train, a sack, an intentional hit from a six-foot-six, 270-pound six, defensive end of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Some football fans never forgave the man who sacked Tittle and ended his glorious career with a single terrible blow. But Y.A. Tittle never said anything other than it was a clean hit by a fine player. And what's happening right now at this moment in Wake County, North Carolina, underscores what Tittle has always said. For you see, the man who made instant football history of one of the outstanding quarterbacks in the game, the solid steel Steeler defensive end who ended Tittle's career was John Baker. That's right. The same John Baker who is now Wake County Sheriff. The Democrat whom Republican Y.A. Tittle is trying to get reelected. Not once in the 25 years since Tittle was blown off his feet and out of football has he been reunited with the player who made that happen, but right now, campaigning for him, Tittle repeats, quote, Ladies and gentlemen, you give this man a job to do, he gets it done right. Nobody knows that better than I do. And now you know what he means because you know the rest of the story. <laughs>